Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Jumpstart Your Marketing show, where we're going to talk about some awesome marketing tips for you to use in your business. So happy Leap Day, everybody. Happy Leap Day. Uh, today, obviously, comes only once every four years. So today you get an extra day. You can uh, take advantage of that day. I'm glad that you joined us here um, because we're going to be talking about some amazing tips on how to embrace AI and automation and why your business can't wait. Uh, you know, this is a brand new technology. I know uh, a lot of people might have started using or playing around with ChatGPT, but ChatGPT is not the only crayon in the box. And um, there's so many incredible tools these days that we can use for marketing. And, uh, you know, this is a really exciting time. It's an exciting time to be a business owner um, because we can just get so much more done now with the help of AI that we can really, we'll be able to serve our customers so much better. And we'll be able to provide the value that we provide to more people. So um, that being said, if you're watching this on the replay, Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Make sure to join in on the conversation. So I'll be back to answer questions. I would love if you could, you know, react, have reactions, emojis, um, and uh, shares, likes, comments, shares, give us your thoughts um, and participate. I will be back to answer questions. So um, would love to, to have you join in the community here. All right, so um, I don't know how many people have been following or how closely you might have been following these uh, AI trends and how they're being used for marketing. But in fact, 60% of businesses have started using AI for marketing in the past year, according to the CMO survey. So that means that people are starting to get on board with this technology. It's still early, early days, which means, you know, we might not we might not all really have a great handle on it yet about, you know, what we can do with it, how it can be helpful to us, um, you know, but it's time. It is time to take that leap. So, you know, it's leap day. And, uh, you know, just like Indiana Jones, and uh, I guess it was the Temple of Doom. There's a there's a scene in there where, uh, you know, he basically takes a leap across a, a chasm to get to the other side to look for the Holy Grail. So uh, the Holy Grail is is uh, the revenue growth and that growth that you desire in your business. So you, you know, you are where you are. Um, you know, some of us may be comfortable where we are. Some of us may not be so comfortable where we are but either way most of us want to grow our business and in order to do that we need to take advantage of everything every tool every strategy that's at our disposal that is going to help us make that difference be able to optimize be able to do more in less time and really be able to serve the people who we serve so uh, that being said, today we're going to talk about the top five uh, tips that I have that can help you grow your business. Or we're going to talk about, you know, the, the five, five different ways that you can take a look at using AI to grow your business. So the first one is conversational AI for personal, personalized customer experiences. So what does that mean? So conversational AI, it means essentially an AI that's having a conversation. Um, I like to call it um, a smart AI response robot, but I don't know if you've had a conversation with an AI lately, but they are getting pretty good. And of course, the better we train it, the better it is. So we can actually serve our customers better, provide better customers experience by being able to respond to our customers in a meaningful way immediately and very quickly to answer their questions, 
schedule them into an appointment so that you know we can help them as a real human uh and also be able to uh you know direct the conversation the way that we want so um i'm sure everybody has gotten you know you've everybody's probably gone to a website and gotten a pre you know pre-trained chat bot that isn't very helpful so the difference between that and this is you know previously you know you pretty much had to train the chat bot if somebody asks this question or you had to give it a button like um is your question one of the three items below well what happens if it's not one of the three items below well you're kind of stuck and so now instead of having to have this limited experience that is very annoying i'm sure you know we've all had this annoying experience where it's like that's not what i want to ask you well um with conversational ai you can literally train your bot with all of the content that's on your website all of your company details everything about your products and services you can train it even with a brand voice so you know different businesses might have a different brand voice like some of us might want to be like quirky and fun and some might want to be kind of serious and professional so you can train the ai to respond in a way that's appropriate to your business and it can act like a real human and respond in a human and personalized way and you can actually instruct it in how to respond to people so if somebody asks a question like um you know how much how much does it cost uh you might want to train your bot to say um well you know we we don't give pricing right away over uh chat but we'd love to book you into a call so that we can discuss our options further or something like that um so you can actually really guide the conversation um you can and and the ai is gonna know the difference between somebody saying how much does it cost and what is the price you know the ai is gonna know that that's the same question so that is a just a really cool thing not only that i'm sure we've all received robocalls which is also really annoying because i mean it you can tell it's not a real human and nobody wants to be on the other end of a robocall that being said now we actually have ai enabled salespeople on the phone voice that are actually able to converse with you. And you might think that sounds creepy, but the thing is, just like the chat bot, it's responding to you like a real person. And you can actually train a conversational AI voice salesperson with all of your best sales conversations so that it knows what the best responses are based on real conversations that you've had. Uh, so it's not just, you know, like a canned robo thing. It's actually kind of amazing. It's incredible uh, what is possible now. And so, you know, we're just at the beginning right now. And I think that's what is so valuable because, you know, I, I don't know if you've ever seen the AI adoption curve or the uh, technology adoption curve. It's pretty much like it goes whoop, and you know what that what that that means is like there's a beginning point where we're kind of at this low spot and the low spot is oh people know about it people have heard about it but most people aren't using it yet or most people aren't like it's not a regular part of your daily activities yet so the you know so it starts out kind of at the beginning so if you think about iPhones when iPhones or when when you, like the iPod first came out you know first we had the iPod before we had the iPhone and um when those first came out not that many people had them they were brand new and you could tell the people who had them because they had those little white earbuds and everybody else's earbuds or I mean they were like wired earphones at that time they were everybody else had black and so you could tell who the cool people were, who the people using the new technology were because they had the white earphones. And, um, you know, as time, this was a very clever strategy because 
Apple knew that if everybody had black i uh, earphones and you gave iPod, you know, iPods and iPhones had white earphones, everybody's going to know who's using an iPod or an iPhone. And so the people who were using the iPhone, it was like, oh, that's cool. Um, Apple products. Oh, that's like super exclusive. And, you know, as more people started to buy them, more people, more people, more people, then we eventually got to a point where the iPhone was kind of a very mainstream thing. Like most people who had a smartphone probably had an iPhone at some point. And, um, you know, and then as the smartphone became really popular, the iPhone, then, you know, other companies started entering the market. We had Android, we had Google, we had, you know, all of these other things that were entering the market to now, now it's pretty much everybody has a smartphone. So, you know, so the thing about this is we are at the very beginning. We are at the very start of the white iPhones <laughs> with AI and automation for your business. So for, for using this stuff for your marketing. And that being said, that means that you can actually really take advantage of this and get a cutting edge advantage over your competition. Because the thing is, that you know if not everybody is using it yet or if people don't know how to use it really really well and you do then you're going to be able to do so much more which is really exciting <laughs> and you know i don't know if you can tell but i am really excited about this stuff because it's like stuff that used to take an hour to do you can now do in five or ten minutes like you can generate social media posts and emails and text messages and everything for your business now in the space of like a couple minutes, whereas it used to take, you know, hours and be really time consuming and annoying and just take forever. Like one of the hardest things was always writing. Like you can set something up, but what are you gonna say? So, um, so anyway, so AI really helps remove that obstacle. It helps you with um, personalizing your content helps you improve your customer experience. And um, so that is the next thing. So actually the next thing is AI powered content creation and curation. And so we now have not just chat GPT, but we have just this massive array of AI tools that can do all kinds of different things. And they can do it in a way that takes you know, your content and allows you to, for example, make one piece of content, chop it up into little pieces, and then distribute it across your social media, your email, your website, um, anything else that you might be doing, <laughs> video, your YouTube, you know, everything. I mean, right now I am going live to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. And then once we get done here, I'm going to drop this video. I'm going to take the audio, drop it into uh, a tool that's going to chop it into um, social media posts. Written posts is going to give me uh, a blog. It's going to give me um, show notes that I can then email out to all the folks who hopped on today. And um, then I'm going to take the video and I'm going to drop it into another program that's going to chop it up into video shorts that then I can post all across social media. And the thing is that, you know, you can continue to post, you can repost these things. So if I chop it up into little shorts, you know, I might end up with like 10 different short videos out of this one long video. And, you know, I could post one of those a week for the next 10 weeks, or I could post like two of those a week for the next five weeks, you know, whatever. But the point is that it doesn't have to be hard anymore. And it doesn't also, it also doesn't have to like not get done because I think, you know, we're all busy business owners. We're doing things. We're serving our customers. We're taking sales calls. We're putting out fires. We're, you know, doing all the things that we do as business owners. And we want to make sure that our marketing still gets done. And the other thing is we might not want to hire someone to outsource all of our marketing because then it's out of our hands. We don't know like 
how good the quality or the expertise of the person who's doing it. Um, and you're paying them a lot of money to do something that, you know, maybe you're paying them for something that used to take five hours and now you can do it in like less than a, like half an hour. And so why are you going to continue to pay those folks so much money to do stuff that you can do so easily now yourself? So, um, and I would love to, to show you more about that. Um, we're going to be going live here on a weekly basis. I'm going to be live. Um, and so tune in, definitely hop back in because we're going to really dig into some of this stuff and talk about some of these amazing tools and what we can do with them now. So the next item is, so uh, this will be, I guess, oh, whoops. Doo, doo, doo. So now we're into, the next thing is generating content with AI. So we, so we already talked about generating the content. So we can generate all this amazing content with AI, and then we can deliver it with automation. So if, if we're producing like a month's worth of uh, social media posts, we don't need to be going in there like every day and posting and going into Facebook and going into Instagram and going into LinkedIn and going into you know all these different channels one at a time. There's actually tools so that you can just go in one time schedule out all of your content for the month and then just have it post in an automated fashion. So it'll just, you know, you schedule out all the posts for the month and they will publish on the scheduled day at the scheduled time without you having to come in there and, you know, spend a bunch of time doing it. Because the thing is, again, busy business owners, we don't always have time or we can't remember we you know we've got a million things to do so being able to really automate things can really help us keep everything consistent without it being overwhelming or difficult and uh you know the other thing about marketing automation and ai is you know for example um you can now create a freebie for your customers. So we call this an entry point offer, or people might have called, you know, heard it called a lead magnet. But you come up with a, a valuable piece of content or a valuable offer, something preferably sort of chunked off your main offer. Like, um, I don't know, for example, if you were a, a, a roofer, you could offer free gutter cleaning. And so what would that do? Well, now you come out, do somebody's gutter cleaning for free. You're up there on a ladder looking at your roof, at their roof and you say, oh, hey, I noticed that you've got some holes in your roof up there. And um, can we send you a quote to get that either repaired or get the roof replaced? It's time to replace your roof. Next thing you know, you've got roof repair jobs. And so the point is, that uh you know no matter what kind of business you are that being able to take a little piece like you know when you go in the supermarket and they offer you a little piece a little sample of cheese and you eat the little sample of cheese and you're like oh that was really actually pretty good i'm gonna get a whole a whole uh chunk of cheese so the point is you create a free offer that hooks people gets people in the door and then you have the opportunity to continue to market to them so when you have that opportunity to continue to market to them then what do you do what's the next step so um you know the next step is that um you know you would want to uh, make the next offer so hopefully the next offer would be either um a, a dedication of time or money so a small thing like uh, a consultation call, a free consultation, uh, they're spending time with you or a low ticket, easy to say yes to offer like a $7 something or other, or, you know, depending on what like the average job of your you know, company is um, and what the spending abilities are of your um 
customers, you know, you choose something that will be really easy for them to say yes to. Uh, you know, in a bigger B2B company, that might be something that's less than $500 because after $500, they have to go ask their boss. Or it, it you know, if it's like a coaching company uh, dealing with individuals in a B2C sense, it might be like a $7 um, like in, introductory course, uh, like a single course module for your bigger course or something like that. Um, so the point is that uh, you can write those emails or text messages and then schedule them out and just deliver them to somebody who has opted in for your offer and um, you can then, uh, so then you can actually schedule those things out and they can just be delivered on a consistent basis. So, um, you know, just being delivered uh, automated so that you don't have to go in there and like remember to send an email to somebody. Um, and so that can really improve your customer experience just because um, people are hearing from you. You know, we've all heard that out of sight, out of mind, but, um, you know, we don't have to be out of sight, out of mind anymore because automation is going to help us be able to stay in front of people. So, um, all right. So the next thing is optimizing digital advertising with AI driven insights. So it looks like I might have stopped broadcasting over Facebook. Um, so it is on my Facebook page, Zebra Marketing Solutions. Um, if you're in the group and you can't see the video, uh, yeah. But anyway, so so we can also now optimize our digital advertising with AI-driven insights. So this means that we can use AI to really optimize our digital ad campaigns. We can get more targeted, more accurate. Um, we can have automated billing and um, real-time ad performance analysis. Uh, if you're running Facebook ads, you can actually now just set up ads and run it to a broad audience and basically just let Facebook do, you know, kind of figure out, well, who is most likely to respond to this? And, you know, it just basically puts it in front of people. And then the AI is able to determine like, who's more likely to respond to this ad. And um, there's also now AI ads creation tools that can help us with our optimization. They can suggest um, ad text, like what are we gonna write for the ad copy, um, titles, headlines, and suggest audiences and also suggest images and just really make it easy for us to run ads because you know a lot of us might be hiring people for ads, but you don't need to do that anymore. Like you, you can actually run your own ads uh, pretty successfully and, you know, do that on your own without having to pay a fortune to an advertising, you know, digital company. So, um, I'd love to show you how to do that later. And then the last thing is enhancing SEO strategies with AI for better visibility. So AI can help with keyword research, content optimization and understanding search intent. So uh, if you don't know what SEO is, that's search engine optimization. So that's Google search, you know, Google search optimization to help your website pop up in search when people search for something that's related to the to your business or what you do. And so essentially we've got this insane AI tools now to help you do everything you need to do for SEO. So including writing long form blog posts that are keyword optimized that can help people find your website and help Google say, oh, this website must be about this. 
you know, so say you're a watermelon farmer, you would want to have, you know, pages on your website that say uh, watermelon farming, um, the best watermelon farmer, you know, <laughs> stuff like that, you know, because then Google's going to see the, the words watermelon and farming like all over your website and say, oh, it looks like this person must be a watermelon farmer. And so when somebody goes to Google and they search watermelon farmer, your website's going to come up or the pages on your website will come up. So if you have like all kinds of blog posts about watermelon farming, then, you know, if somebody searches for that, your blog posts are going to come up. And when those blog posts come up, you can make that free offer that we talked about before that free offer can come up on that blog post page and so now it's not just um that you've written a blog post but you've also produced a free offer automated a response and, and automated the ability to capture that person's um uh contact details if they decide they want your free offer so, um, you know, if they decide they want your free offer, they, you know, they, you use the AI enabled SEO tools to get your website to come up and search. Somebody finds your website and you make them an offer that's applicable to whatever they're looking at. So, you know, then, you know, if you're the watermelon farmer and you offer like a free coupon for your next watermelon, <laughs> you know, somebody opts in for that free coupon and then you send them a series of emails um, talking about the, the health benefits of eating watermelon and, um, you know, how amazing your watermelon is. And next thing you know, they're subscribed and they want to buy more watermelon. So, <laughs> so that's the idea. All right. So it's been awesome being, uh, live here with you all today. Uh, really excited to get started. We're going to be going live on a weekly basis. So tune in next week. And um, can't wait to, to have you all join and really uh, get deeper into this conversation about AI and automation and how it can help you grow your business. So um, uh, if you'd like the show notes, comment below with the word show notes uh, and uh, we will send that to you. And uh, can't wait to have you join us next time. Again, happy leap day, happy leap year. This is a, an extra day that we get to make a difference in our business and our lives and uh, really take that leap for AI and automation. So everybody have a great day, have a great afternoon and evening, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>